And when your job is to inform the public on news that is constantly changing. You know, making sure we are always accurate, especially with these attacks coming in on the press, we have to make sure go, to go above and beyond uh, to ensure that everything we do is accurate and fair. Not only are tonight's ABC News Democrat debates nothing but kabuki theater, but they also seem like they're rigged to push certain candidates over others, especially Joe Biden. According to DNC rules, a Democrat candidate can only take part in these debates if they're polling over 2% and have received at least $130,000 from individual donors. Obviously, the only way a candidate is going to achieve those requirements is if they're getting coverage in the media. And over at ABC News, they've dedicated the vast majority of positive coverage to Joe Biden. According to the Media Research Council, all the other Democrats who will be taking part in this debate have received less than 60 seconds of coverage at ABC News. So the 10 candidates who will be appearing have received a total of 96% of ABC's coverage, and of that, 56% of it was for Joe Biden. My only point here is that I'm trying to set up these debates as nothing more than Democrat Party propaganda, and it would appear that the media, and ABC News in particular, have already chosen the candidates and the a candidate who they want before Democrats themselves have even had a chance to vote on it. We'll get right back to the video, but first let me give a quick shout out to a friend of the channel, Boar Creek Ranch. If you enjoy the outdoors and have been looking for something fun to do with your family or office, let me highly recommend Boar Creek Ranch. Since 1995, Boar Creek Ranch has provided a thrilling yet affordable hunting experience. If you haven't experienced hunting the Russian wild boar, you're in for the hunt of your life. Settled in the remote area of East Texas, their cabins are surrounded by 200-year-old oaks, blackjack trees, deep river bottoms, gullies, and the lush neotropical wilderness. Give them a call and schedule a visit for a weekend of fun with your family or a team building session with the office. And don't forget to mention that Drone Tech sent you. If you would like me to give your channel or website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribtcom forward slash drone tech and make sure to use the promo code drone tech to get 20% off most items. Send me a proof of the purchase and I'll give you a shout out. Thank you. That brings us to the debate monitors themselves. You would think that a supposedly respected, genuine news agency would require that their moderators be objective, trustworthy professionals. What am I talking about? None of us would expect that, and we would be completely correct in our skepticism. Instead of journalistic, objective professionals, they've chosen a Clinton administration official, George Stephanopoulos, and an illegal immigration advocate, George Ramos, who, I'll say, has been very open about his lack of journalistic integrity. There are also two lesser-known Democrat shills, David Meir and Lindsey Davis, neither of whom are known for their objectivity when it comes to Democrats. I mean, my God, George Stephanopoulos used to be a Democrat Party propagandist and is still a big Democrat Party donor. He came to ABC News after playing a prominent role in Bill Clinton's White House. I would question that. To argue that... Well, based on what? Based on what? Well, I think based on you, her Do you have record. any evidence that she actually intervened in this issue? No, we don't have direct evidence, but... But wait. After that feisty interview, we learned that Stephanopoulos himself is a Clinton Foundation donor. Then we have this clown George Ramos, who was once actually kicked out of a Trump event for being disruptive, and who once declared that he would resist this report and not be neutral. One thing you can say about Ramos, at least he doesn't hide who he is. Then we have David Muir, who hailed Nancy Pelosi's return to speaker as a new dawn. But we're going to begin with that historic power shift in Washington. Democrats taking over the House. Nancy Pelosi, the first woman to ever be speaker of the House, now returning for her second run in the role. Calling it a new dawn, Pelosi welcomed the most diverse group of representatives the Congress has ever seen. And Lindsey Davis has quite the reputation for lobbing softballs to Democrats during interviews. The problem here is obviously that every question is going to be from the left's perspective. I mean, they might get some critical questions like, why aren't you more progressive? But we won't be hearing any questions that are critical of left-wing policy. For example, will you renounce the rhetoric against ICE? Or, since you believe that nobody is above the law, will you renounce sanctuary cities? Because no one is above the law. In America, nobody is above the law. No one 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 is above the law. Or are you capitalist or socialist? The whole point here is to do exactly what they do every day in their reporting. To reinforce the left's perspective and to frame anything to the right of Karl Marx as outside the mainstream. 
The Media Research Council did a study on the previous NBC, MSNBC debates, and they found that they were almost entirely left-wing, with only 13 of the 70 total questions challenging the Democrat Party agenda. So ABC News, a Democrat Party network, is having a Democrat Party debate with Democrat Party operatives as the moderators. When ABC News hosted GOP debates during the last election, who do you think they got to moderate it? That's right, Democrat Party operatives David Muir and Martha Raddatz, who famously cried when she found out Hillary Clinton lost the election. Tears! No, tell me this isn't true. And you know what she doesn't understand? Things are going to be much better now. She doesn't understand. In conclusion, these debates are a total sham and just another propaganda effort for the Democrat Party. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. I would see it as a personal favor if you would just go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe while you're at it and make sure to hit the bell notification as well.